everybody, I'm back with another video and today I'm going to share some new Wet n Wild products I found in my local drugstore. I think a lot of them may be reformulated or repackaged because some of them look really familiar. The first new item I ran across Photo Focus Vaporizer. It's just like a makeup setting spray. And I've used this a couple of times. I really didn't notice a difference in the performance of my makeup. I was gonna give up on it, and then one day I just decided to uh, try to use it. Just something to set my eye makeup with, and it worked really well. So what I do is I spray some of this on my hand, and then I dip my brush into the, the, um, the eyeshadow or the eyeliner and I use the eyeshadow as an eyeliner and it really does set and it lasts all day long. I've used this quite a few times now and it lasts all day. It doesn't budge. And I have it on right now. I'm going to try to see if I can give you guys a demo without messing up my, <laughs> my makeup. You can just, you know, it just doesn't. And I'm pressing pretty hard. It doesn't come off. So this is a really good setting spray, but for some reason I don't notice a difference um, with it with my makeup. I don't know if it's because of the um, the makeup that I'm using, the Revlon Color Say. Really doesn't need much. It doesn't need a primer. It doesn't need a setting spray. So maybe that's uh, why I didn't notice a difference. But you just spray it on and let it dry, and it's supposed to lock everything into place. <laughs> so the next new thing I read across is the One Wild Lash Matic. Um, mascara plus fiber extension kit. Different companies have these extension kits, but I've never tried one before. So I figured for eight dollars I would give it a shot. I thought it was a reasonable price. Um, I was a little skeptical because I've tried different Wet n Wild uh, mascaras before, and I never really liked them. So I started off applying a mascara, and it didn't do much for my lashes. It extended them a little bit, and then you go back with the fibers. So that was one of the things I was concerned about. And some of the kits, the fibers are dark and when they fall onto your face, they're really visible. But these are more like a translucent color, so that wasn't a problem. So uh, you apply the mascara and then you apply the fibers and then you apply another coat of mascara again. I think this may be more like a trial and error kit. Uh, I think it just did an okay job. I had on Too Faced mascara yesterday and my lashes were so much bigger. So I did have high hopes on this. I think I got better results on my right side versus my left side. So I think there may be a little bit of a training curve or a learning curve when using these two products. Right now I give it about a seven. Um, they boast like 39 times the volume on your lashes, but I would say maybe it's like 50%. They don't look that voluminous to me. So right now I would give this a seven. So the next thing I ran across is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush. And this is in the color Mellow Wine. And this is one of the products that I don't think is new. It's just repackaged or reformulated. And this is the color here. It's a really pretty, um, like, mauve color. And I'm wearing it today. This is a super pigmented blush. I mean, you don't need a lot of this. Compared to the Too Faced blushes, this one is highly pigmented. I just barely tapped my brush in there. And I got a lot of um, color payoff on there. Highly pigmented, great value for three bucks. Next thing I came across is the Mega Glow Contouring Palette. And I think that this uh, was out before, but I went ahead and picked it out because I never purchased it before. And this is in Caramel Toffee. And it has your bronzer on one side and your highlighter on the other side. Both of them are matte and really pretty. Just gorgeous colors. This is this reminds me of like a banana, banana color. So pretty. And they just feel really good and high quality. Not sure how well you guys can see that. But they feel really good. They feel like a high end product. They're very soft. So I put some of the bronzer on here and I try to contour with it a little bit. I try not to contour it too much because I look like a clown when I do. <laughs> so I don't contour a lot, but I really do like that bronzer. I think it's a great value for three bucks. And I also picked up the Illuminating Palette. And I think this is one of the things that was reformulated. Um, and just has a new formula. I don't think it's really a new product. I'm wearing the gold one, the one on the far left on my cheeks today, my upper cheeks, um, to highlight them. And then I used the lighter pink um, underneath my eyebrows. And then I used the, I kind of used all of the colors and just brushed it across my chest. So Wet Ma also has some new eyeshadow palettes out. And I'm actually not sure if these are new or just like repromotes or just repackaging. I was under Fergie's name a couple of years ago. And I want to say it's the same palette, but I don't have that one because it never came to my area. So I'm not sure. But these are the colors. It's a really pretty smoky palette. I did use the colors today. 
I use this lighter purple color here. I know it's kind of hard to see on my eyelids, but I use that one on my lids and I use, I use this one on my inner tear duct. It's kind of hard to see because I washed my makeup brushes and, <laughs> and so I had to put them on with uh, like an applicator. So I couldn't do a good job. I just did the best that I could. I forgot I was going to do a video today and I had washed my makeup brushes. Then I started to do the video. So I didn't really have any tools to work with. So I just used this little applicator. First impressions, I like this. I want to say it was $6. And this is a great buy or great value for like a beginner or someone who wants to try a lot of different products but you don't want to spend a lot of money. I think this would be a lot of fun to play with. You can do a lot of different looks with this. And I also had a gold one. Now the gold one I think is the same one that was in the holiday the Fergie holiday uh, kit and that's downstairs somewhere but I also have that one it looks very familiar uh, I didn't compare the names on them but I'm pretty sure that that's the same palette so overall I think this is a pretty good value this black is intense oh my goodness I was just gonna put a little bit on and it went on extremely dark so I need to blend this out but I don't have any clean brushes so hopefully you guys can get a good general feel of uh, this palette I'm gonna include swatches also so one more, I also came out with some new brushes. Some of the brushes are kind of hit and miss. So I lost my e.l.f. flat top brush, and so I needed one to apply uh, a foundation. I bought the, what is that, the Land, the new Lancome foundation, and I wanted something to like smooth it in. I couldn't find my e.l.f. brush, so I purchased a Wet n Wild one, and it was 25 percent off, so it came out to like two dollars and a quarter. And this is the Wet n Wild flat top brush. It is cruelty free, gluten free, vegan. I just really wanted to try this one out. So my package is kind of squished down. It's kind of hard to see like what the density is, but I was pleasantly surprised at the density of the brush. I would say the head is about the size of a quarter, um, but it is pretty dense. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I was pleasantly surprised at like the density of it. It's pretty, pretty strong. So <laughs> hopefully I like this. The only thing with the lighter color brushes is that they do stain. So those are some of the new Wet n Wild products I found. Again, I don't think all of them are new. Some of them are just repackaged and are reformulated. So they're definitely worth checking out, especially if you're a diva on a budget. Most of them are under five bucks and they are pretty good quality. So that concludes my video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you in the next video.